this is being reduced from the Milton. China supports calls for an independent investigation into the origins of the coronavirus outbreak, but only after the pandemic is under control. Those are the words of Chinese President Xi Jinping on Monday. Xi was addressing a virtual meeting of the World Health Assembly, the governing body of the World Health Organization. A European Union drafted resolution calling for a probe into both how the pandemic began, as well as the responses to it, is expected to gain approval this week. The coronavirus was first publicly identified in China in late December and has spread around the world, killing more than 315,000 people and infecting at least 4.7 million. She reiterated on Monday China's stance that it has always been transparent about its knowledge of the virus. He also announced at Monday's assembly that China would devote $2 billion for the fight against COVID-19 over two years, especially focused on developing countries. U.S. President Donald Trump has been a harsh critic of China's initial response to the virus. He also suspended the funding to the WHO, contending the agency failed in its basic duty to investigate early reports out of China about the coronavirus in December last year. U.S. stocks surged on Monday after biotechnology company Moderna Incorporated said its initial tests for a possible coronavirus vaccine produced favorable results from a small sample of people. The widely watched Dow Jones Industrial Average of 30 blue chip stocks jumped more than 4 percent. The broader S&P 500 was ahead more than 3 percent near the close of trading. And meanwhile, stock for the U.S.-based Moderna gained more than 20 percent, ending at $80 a share. You can find more about this and other stories on our website, voanews.com. From Washington, you're listening to VOA News. China has responded to a new U.S. ban targeting telecom giant Huawei, threatening to retaliate through a series of countermeasures, including putting U.S. companies such as Apple, Qualcomm, and Cisco on an unreliable entity list that would seriously impede their sales in Chinese markets. The U.S. Commerce, Commerce Department on Friday threw a one-two punch at China's high-tech efforts by announcing a new ban on global chip supplies to Huawei, while announcing a Taiwan, allowing a Taiwanese semiconductor producer to open a next-generation plant in the United States. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says he asked President Trump to fire the State Department's inspector general because the independent watchdog was undermining the agency and not acting in a way that would make the State Department better. Pompeo's comments Monday were in response to a tweet by Elliot Engel, the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, suggesting Pompeo requested the ouster because Inspector General Steve Linick's office was nearing the end of an investigation into Pompeo's controversial fast tracking of arms sales last year to Saudi Arabia. Initially, Democratic lawmakers contended Trump ousted Steve Linick, the State Department's inspector general, because he was investigating claims that Pompeo and his wife Susan had been using a government aid for personal tasks. On Monday, France and Germany proposed a $542 billion fund to finance the recovery of the European Union's economy from the devastation brought on by the coronavirus crisis, putting aside past differences and seeking to prove the Franco-German core of Europe remains intact. President Emmanuel Macron and Chancellor Angela Merkel announced the unprecedented package after talks by video conference. With the European economy facing its biggest challenge since World War II, Macron also announced, acknowledged that the EU had fallen short in its initial response to the coronavirus and needed to coordinate more closely on health matters. Libya's unity government said Monday its forces had seized a strategic air base from groups backing eastern military strongman Khalifa Haftar. The base, al Watiya is about 90 miles southwest of Tripoli. There was no immediate confirmation from the Haftar camp. Honduras on Sunday extended its blanket curfew for a week. The curfew first imposed in mid-March has been extended eight times as the government attempts to avoid overwhelming its public health system during the coronavirus pandemic. And the head of the European Union's medicines agency said an initial authorization for U.S. pharmaceutical company Gilead's Remdesivir as a COVID-19 treatment could be granted in coming days. Marissa Melton, VOA News.